Africa's Three Gorges Project, How Did the Mero Dam Built by China Change China's Destiny? In this video, let us learn more about it. The Nile River flows through the African continent, rushing endlessly, nurturing the fertile land of Sudan. However, every time the rainy season comes, the surging rivers will overflow, flooding farmland and damaging villages. In order to make good use of the gifts of this mother river, the Sudanese government came up with a bold idea, which is to build a dam across the Nile River, which can not only regulate the river water, but also generate electricity to benefit people's livelihood. This ambition immediately attracted global attention. For a time, water conservancy experts from various countries swarmed in and competed to bid. At first, everyone was enthusiastic and confident about the project. But when the preliminary survey data were presented one by one, the unprecedented engineering difficulty gradually became apparent. The dam needs to span an astonishing length of 9,285 meters, which is almost four times the length of China's Three Gorges Dam. This is simply an impossible task. Experts from the United States and Japan have agreed that the engineering risks of building such a large dam on the Roaring Nile River are uncontrollable. One mistake could have disastrous consequences flooding the Nile. Faced with a dangerous situation, they wisely declined the project. However, when the Sudanese government was helpless, the Chinese Water Conservancy team stepped forward. They accepted this seemingly impossible challenge. So how was this hydropower station built? How did it change the fate of Sudan? The Mero Dam is located near the city of Mero in northern Sudan about 350 kilometers from the capital Khartoum. It is the largest hydropower project in Africa and the longest dam in the world, with a total length of 9,285 meters, which is three times as long as the Three Gorges Dam and 25 times as long as the Hoover Dam in the United States. It is constructed by a consortium composed of China Water Conservancy and Electricity Corporation and China Water Conservancy and Hydropower Engineering Corporation. Construction started in 2003 and was completed in 2010. The construction of Mero Dam had multiple purposes. It can perform the function of generating electricity and provide stable and cheap electricity to Sudan. Mero Hydropower Station has a total installed capacity of 1,250 megawatts and an annual power generation of 5.5 billion kilowatt hours, which was equivalent to nearly twice Sudan's national power generation at that time. It also helped Sudan establish a national power grid centered on Mero, making Sudan leap from a country without a national power grid to a country with an advanced national power grid. This has greatly promoted Sudan's industrialization and modernization process. The Mero Dam can perform irrigation functions and provide sufficient water for Sudanese agriculture. Mero Dam forms a giant reservoir with an area of 4,760 square kilometers and a storage capacity of 12.4 billion cubic meters. It can regulate the water quantity and quality of the Nile River and ensure the irrigation needs of the downstream areas. Mero Dam also built supporting irrigation channels and water pipelines turning the originally dry and barren desert area into an oasis and fertile farmland. It is estimated that the Mero Dam can increase more than 1 million acres of arable land and benefit more than 4 million Sudanese farmers. The Mero Dam can perform flood control functions and provide security for the Sudanese people. The Nile is a rainy and waterlogged river that often overflows and floods during the rainy season, 
causing huge losses and dangers to residents along its banks. Marrow Dam can effectively control the flow and velocity of the Nile River by adjusting the reservoir water level and opening the floodgates, reducing the flood control pressure on downstream areas. The Marrow Dam can also play an environmental role and improve Sudan's ecology. The completion of the Marrow Dam enabled Sudan to get rid of its current partial, oil-intensive and polluting power supply situation and switch to clean hydropower. This not only saves Sudan's oil resources, but also reduces greenhouse gas emissions, which is beneficial to combating climate change. In addition, Mero Reservoir also provides new development opportunities for local fisheries and tourism, increasing the income and well-being of local people. The construction of Mero Dam was not smooth sailing and it also faced some challenges and controversies. Chief among them is the water distribution issue with Egypt and Ethiopia, the downstream countries of the Nile River. The Nile River is the lifeblood of the Egyptian people's survival and development. Egypt is worried that the Mero Dam will affect the water quantity and quality of the Nile River, threatening Egypt's national security and interests. Ethiopia built the Renaissance Dam on the upper reaches of the Nile River, which is the largest dam in Africa and the largest concrete gravity dam in the world. The goal is to provide Ethiopia with enough electricity and export it to neighboring countries. There are issues such as water allocation, water storage time, and data sharing between the Renaissance Dam and Mero Dam which have triggered long-term negotiations and disputes between the three countries. In addition, the hot climate in the area where the dam is located burns people's will, making it difficult for cement to solidify. The soft mud on the Nile River bed poses a serious threat to the stability of the dam, and the annual flood peaks during high water periods are even more difficult to withstand. Even more troublesome is the transportation problem. The building materials needed for the dam must be shipped from distant China, but transportation in Sudan is very congested. In order to solve issues such as water resource allocation, China adheres to the principles of fairness, consultation, and win-win in the Mero Dam project, conducts close communication and coordination with the governments of the three countries, respects the interests and concerns of all parties, and strives to seek consensus and balance. China also actively participated in the trilateral negotiations led by the African Union and provided technical support and expert advice. China has also provided humanitarian assistance, anti-epidemic materials, infrastructure construction and other assistance to the three countries through various channels, which has enhanced the friendship and trust between the people of the three countries. Secondly, in order to cope with high temperatures, the China Water Conservancy team developed special concrete moisture retention technology. To deal with the soft riverbed, the Chinese team used an innovative method of fabric-reinforced foundations. In order to withstand the impact of floods, the Chinese team used computers to accurately simulate water flow. Every problem tests the wisdom of the engineering team. During the construction process, Chinese engineers and local workers worked day and night without fear of hardships. They live in simple tents, surrounded by mosquitoes. The scorching sun made people dizzy, so they took a nap in the shade and continued working. Sometimes I work overtime late at night to build templates, and the scene of dark shadows under the lights is very scary. But they did not back down, just to fulfill their wish as soon as possible. In order to ensure the supply of materials, the Chinese team tried their best to transport the materials by sea and air, and finally delivered the materials to the construction site in time. Many emergencies occurred during transportation. 
once, the ship almost ran aground. Fortunately, the captain was experienced enough to escape the disaster. Another time the engine of a transport plane stalled during takeoff. The crew remained calm in the face of the danger and finally landed safely. Among the impossibles, Chinese engineers created possibilities one after another. Faced with seemingly insurmountable obstacles, Chinese engineers gritted their teeth and persisted, racing against time and finally completing the Mero Dam, the world's largest dam, in just six years. But their goal is not to simply build a dam, but to make it truly benefit the Sudanese people. In planning and design, the Chinese team took into account the multiple functions of the dam such as irrigation, power generation, and flood control, making the dam an all-round project that benefits society. To this end, they also specially invited local Sudanese architects to jointly design, fully integrating the needs of local people. Ultimately, the Mero Dam improved the lives of Sudanese people and promoted the country's economic development. Now, this once arid and barren country finally has enough electricity and abundant water resources. A dam connects the friendship between China and Sudan and witnesses the great spirit of the two peoples to transcend national boundaries racial and cultural differences and join hands to create a better tomorrow. The legendary story of Mero Dam inspires us to have hope and courage when facing difficulties. As long as mankind is united as one, there will be no obstacles that cannot be overcome and no dreams that are out of reach. The Mero Dam is the life dam that took off the Sudanese country. It has brought huge benefits and hope to Sudan's economic and social development, and also demonstrated China's strength and influence in the international engineering field. The Mero Dam is a symbol of friendly cooperation between China and the Soviet Union and a model of peaceful development in Africa. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.